So how do you get the woman that you're talking to to commit? And what is the process you have to follow to go from the first date to essentially securing a relationship with that woman? So if you're a guy and you're watching this video and you're asking yourself, you know, I've been talking to a girl for some time now, we've been dating for a couple months, but she doesn't want to put a label on it, or maybe I'm not sure when I should ask, then this video is for you. But uh, before I get into it, I want to introduce myself to you guys. If you've never seen in my videos before, my name is Evan. I run the account Performance Potential here on YouTube and on TikTok. I've got about 400 160 something thousand followers at the time of making this YouTube video, but I'm getting started here on YouTube and I want to pump out a bunch of content for you guys because I think some of these topics need to be covered in longer videos. So I want to start off by saying in this video, if you are a guy that's been dating a girl for a couple months and you are really worried and wondering why she will not commit to you, you have fucked up. I'm being very honest with you. I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't want to sugarcoat it. If you've been dating for a couple months and she's still hesitant about committing, you have screwed something up. The good thing is we can talk about some things that you can do to fix that. But I'm telling you, if you've been dating a girl for a couple months and she's questioning whether commitment makes sense, the dynamic of the dating process has been flipped on its head a little bit because if you had done things right after a couple months, she would have been asking you, what are we? Are we exclusive? When is commitment coming? So, you know, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more on what you can do to fix this situation. But before I do that, I want to talk about what, what the actual dating process should look like and how it should go. So let's use the example of if you met a woman on a dating app. So I break the dating process down into something very similar to how a business would function. You have your marketing, you have your website, and you have all the creative that goes into creating a brand, creating a company, creating a business. This is very similar and can be very much compared to your attraction, your dating app profile, your social media profiles and how you present yourself and what kind of style you have as a man. Now, if you have all these things in the front end of the process dialed in, you look good, you're intelligent, you're making adequate amounts of money, your dating app profile is good, and you know your presentation, your presence, and your appearance is good, then that is the beginning part of things. You have to have that optimized and dialed in to attract the kind of women that you want to attract. So if you feel like you're not doing that, then that's really step one for you. Now, step two would actually be kind of the sales process. How are you meeting new women? How are you talking to new women? And how are you getting women to raise their interest levels in you? That would be kind of the middle part of it. And then the third part of it, very similar to a business is if, you know, you have a good sales team and you're getting new clients and you're getting people interested in you and you convert them into somebody who you're in a relationship with of some sorts. And again, I know we're talking about relationships and not business here. Then you're kind of in customer service and it's your job to, you know, it's a mutually beneficial relationship, keep each other happy. You're supposed to be dating her and courting her just like you did in the dating process. And really, you know, it's, it should be mutually beneficial. Of course, you're both putting an effort. So when I look at what happens to a man who has been dating a woman for a couple months and she doesn't want to commit to him, what that tells me is the marketing probably wasn't ideal and the sales process was not good whatsoever. If you've been consistently dating a woman for a couple months and she is not trying to commit to you, the sales process and the dating process was broken. So let me explain something to you. When you had done things right after about three months, I would say, because I coach a lot of women. I talk to a lot of women about this, about the guy they're really going after, the guy they're really hunting for commitment from. After about three or four months, women will come to me and say, I don't know what to do. How do I get this guy to commit? Now, if you're dating a woman and you really want a woman to be interested in you or pursuing you, she should be the one asking for the relationship because if she's asking for the relationship, you know that she wants to be exclusive and that she's not really going to back out of that. It's kind of like a business. Would you rather have somebody buy something for your business or would you rather have to like over really sell and really try very hard to get somebody to, to buy what you're selling. You would rather have somebody just buy it. So that's why I think the front end of the process needs to be as good as possible so women are attracted to you and the dating process is a little bit easier. But the bottom line is if you've been dating a woman for a couple months and she really has not agreed to commit with you and you're pushing for that, you need to back off. I'm serious. You have to slow down and you have to back off. When a guy pushes for commitment too much with a woman and she does not agree to being in a relationship or she feels like like things are moving too fast, you are on the edge of getting broken up with. Let me repeat that again. When you are pushing for commitment and a woman is not committing to you and you're wondering why she's not committing and what you need to do to get her to commit, you've got to back off because you are about to get dumped. I'm not kidding at all. You're going to hear a lot of excuses. Things are moving too fast. Maybe I have previous trauma from other relationships. I'm just not sure right now. Why do we have to put a label on it? If you are hearing those things, you need to back off and stop trying as hard. And there's one very important reason why I say this. If somebody knows what they want, they are not just going to not deny that when they get it, 
they are going to seek it out. Meaning if a woman is not pursuing a relationship with you to at least the same amount of energy and effort as you're pursuing that relationship, she doesn't want you like that. And the most unattractive thing to you as a man in the dating process should be when a woman is not interested in you or she's showing indifference towards you or she's not putting in an equal amount of effort and energy. Think about it. Why would you want to be in a relationship with somebody that does not reciprocate the energy that you're bringing? Do not get fooled by the people that say this. Not This is not just women. A lot of guys think like this and say this too, that if you're not doing everything, if you're not taking the lead, if you're not doing all the work, then you're not a man, right? You're not, you're not a leader. You're not a man. You're not, you're not traditional. You're not pursuing. Don't fall for this. A man who's pursuing is different than a man who is chasing. A man who is pursuing a relationship with a woman is going on dates, he's enjoying the dates, he is showing intent, and he knows that he wants a relationship eventually, but he's also really weighing in his mind, is this the right woman for me? So you need to think differently about this process. You need to think about this process as now you're trying to qualify whether she's right for you, because think about it. Is somebody right for you if they don't want you like that? Hell no. Hell no, they're not right for you. So my point is this. If you're asking a woman to be exclusive or you're hinting at that, or you've been dating for two or three months and she has not brought it up yet, then I'm telling you that either you two are not right for each other or you're doing too much. And most oftentimes it's because you're doing way too much, you're smothering her and you're all over her. And especially if you clicked on this video and you're worried about really locking a woman into commitment, why the woman you're talking to is not committing, and there is a high likelihood that you have done something to mess up the dating process. So seriously, if you need my help with this, this is what I help most guys with. I work with guys that can get options or they're talking to women, but they're really looking for commitment. They really want to be with the one woman or the women that they really desire, but they don't feel like they've been able to lock that in yet. So if you guys are struggling with this, I want you to leave a comment, but I want you to hit the pinned comment down below because I want to help you with this. If you were a guy that's looking for commitment, you're looking for a real relationship and you are not getting that, there's something going on during the dating process that is broken, promise you. I'm gonna help you identify that. So. If you guys need my help, leave a comment down below, hit the pinned comment below, and let me know what you guys need more of. Until next time, we'll talk to you then.